So you're thinking about moving to Teleco Village, but you wanna know what you can get for your money. Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk through some of the areas with a lot of the new construction homes and show you inside a few of those homes, give you an idea of what you'll be able to buy and how much it'll cost. And so just to give you a general idea, most of the homes that are on the market in here right now are actually new construction. There's about 75 homes for sale right now. And I think like 65 of those are new construction. And so there's a lot of new building going on. And most of those homes are anywhere between 500,000 to 700,000, with really most of them being between about 550 to 650. And so right now I am walking down one of the roads in the area that has some new homes. And so you can see up there behind me, a couple of new homes being built. Um, and you know, these are mostly in the 1800 to 2200 square foot range. Most of them are three bedroom, two and a half, maybe two or three bathroom. And some of them will have a bonus room, but most of them are, are that, you know, 1800 to 2200 square feet with three bedroom. And they're gonna be probably around 550 to 650. And so this is just a, a typical street, what you're gonna find as far as, you know, one of the areas with a lot of development going on. And so, you know, they're, they're nice new homes and some of them will be brick. Some of them have stone on the outside. Some of them will just have, you know, white vinyl. But for the most part, they really, um, are building nice looking homes in here. And, you know, if you are not familiar with Teleco Village, it's a, a golf and lake community. It's right along Teleco Lake um, over here in East Tennessee. And it's got three golf courses that are all really nice. So, you know, it's got about 4,500 homes in here right now and still plenty of lots left to be developed out. And, you know, just to give you an idea of you know how fast things are selling you know a lot of the builders in here will put their homes for sale when they're you know around this stage this one behind me actually just went on the market um you know a couple months ago and it actually just sold a few days ago you know and it's still got a couple months left until it's finished obviously so some of the builders will do it that way some of the builders will wait until the home is complete and then put it on the market. So when you're looking at homes in Teleco Village, you'll notice that, that there are homes that are still under construction and then some that are listed just once they're complete. So depending on what you're looking at, you know, if you are wanting to get in a home as soon as possible, obviously you're gonna to wanna to do one of those that's complete. But, you know, if you're not in a hurry, um, if you choose one of these that is not quite finished yet, you know, like this one behind me here, for example, you know, I know the builder for that one would allow you to uh, pick out some of the, some of the finishes and everything like that within reason. And, you know, they might give you a, a budget on top of that if you're willing to pay more and do some different finishes. So, you know, if you find one like that, that's an option for you. You can also, of course, uh, buy a lot in here and build a custom home and, those are just all the options that you have here in Teleco Village. But, you know, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Tennessee, uh, tap that subscribe button and hit the bell for notification so you will be notified and be the first to learn about the current market here in Tennessee. You know, my name is Forrest McCullough and I get calls, texts, emails all the time from people looking to make the move to Tennessee. And I absolutely love it. And so if you're looking to move to Tennessee, whether it's next week or next year, uh, feel free to shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email, and you know, I'd be happy to answer your questions, uh, get to know your specific, unique situation, and help you find the right place to call home in Tennessee. You know, whether that's Teleco Village or another community, maybe um, in another part of Tennessee, I'm happy to, help, happy to help you out and happy to help you make that move to Tennessee. But let that truck go by real quick. But again, this is just what you can expect in Teleco Village as far as, as the look of it. You know, the, 
the streets are typically a little more well kept up than what this is obviously with so many construction sites along it but you know these are the types of homes and as you can see a lot of wooded areas still left as homes are left to be developed on some of those lots and it looks like this one right here behind me might actually be a green space there are some green spaces that you know will never be developed and so that'll always be there and then Telco Lake you can almost see it right here behind me you I can see it through the trees I don't know if you can see it on the video but Telco Lake is just a couple hundred yards over that way and so this this area right here obviously is is close to Telco Lake through there um, anywhere where you are in Telco Village you're gonna have access to the lake it's gonna be maybe a, a five minute drive for you there are several marinas on Telco Lake and and a few of them actually in Telco Village, you know, the, the Yacht Club is uh, a big marina and then there's some boat slips at some of the other communities. And so if you want to live here and have a boat and have access to it, but not, you know, pay for that lake house, that lake lot, you can definitely do that. And you're going to, you're going to be convenient to, to uh, one of those um, boat slips close by, but I mean, you can see a lot of these homes are very new, like like half of them on this road probably are built within the last few years. And this is one of the newer areas. And so some of the areas will not have quite as many new homes, but this is one of the areas that's being built out. And again, you can see the lake right down through there as well. So that's a cove that goes back in where one of the one of the rivers feeds into the lake. But you know the homes in here are going to be uh, really in the the 550 to 650 range, like I said, um, three bedroom. And so some of the things you need to be aware of as far as expenses go. You know the the Telco Village itself is in the county of Loudoun County, and so. You have obviously the Loudoun County property tax. Telco Village doesn't have a city property tax on top of that. So the property tax in Tennessee is typically pretty low, especially when you're not in a city with additional property tax. And so the property tax for Loudoun County, what you can expect, you know, just to give you an example, if your home is assessed at $500,000 you know, tax assessed at five hundred thousand dollars, which would, you know, the home would probably be worth um, more than that on on the market. But just for a tax assessment of five hundred thousand, um, or a tax appraisal, I should say, for a tax appraisal of five hundred thousand, you're going to be looking at paying uh, around two thousand dollars a year in property tax. So fairly low. The HOA fee for, or I should say, the POA fee, the property owner association, because you're part of it if you own property in here, even if you don't own a home on it, is gonna be about $168 a month. And you know that gets you access to the amenities and the golf courses. But what you need to keep in mind is it doesn't make all those things free. And so just because you are a POA member doesn't mean all those things are free. And so you can, see the breakdown of the different options there are for buying different packages for access to those amenities. Of course, if you are here, it makes it cheaper than if you were just paying as a guest. But, you know, if you are uh, thinking about moving here and want to see that the full breakdown of all those fees, uh, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to send you the PDF sheet that breaks all that down so you can take a, take a closer look at it. The other tax that I wanted to bring up is uh, they call it um, the adequate facilities tax and it's a tax levied in Loudoun County and what it is on every new construction home you have to pay one dollar per every heated square foot and so you know a 2,000 square foot home which is pretty typical for these homes you're gonna have to pay two thousand dollars when that home is built and so some of the builders in here will pay that tax and so when you purchase it you don't have to worry about paying it. Some of them will not pay it. 
And so when you get to closing, you will have that $2,000 tax on top of all your other closing costs. So that's something that they are required to disclose. And so when you are, you know, looking at these, looking at these homes, just keep that in mind. And you can always ask the, the agent, you know, hey, is this um, something where the, the adequate facilities tax has already been paid? But when you do go under contract, it'll be a form you have to sign off on acknowledging whether or not it has been paid. And so that's just something to keep in mind, um, you know, because that can surprise you. That's a one-time tax for new construction. So it's not a yearly tax. It's only for a new construction home that first year or that, that first time that it's been built. And so you don't have to worry about that yearly. You don't have to worry about that if you buy a um, older home that's already been been built. But so, you know, this area is one of the faster growing areas of Teleco Village. This is, most of Teleco Village is not a maintenance-free community, you know, so you're responsible for taking care of your your lawn and your exterior and everything like that. You know, that, that POA does not cover any lawn care or anything like that. There are a few areas that have um, a maintenance-free option. There are a few townhome communities in Telco Village where they're maintenance-free, so they have a HOA fee on top of the POA fee, and you know they take care of your lawn for you. And so, you know, this is most of you know this type of community is most of what you can expect in Telco Village, but there is one. Uh, new construction area that is a maintenance free area. So you have your POA fee plus an HOA fee on top of that to take care of the lawn, the lawn care. And so I'm gonna take you over there in just a second, but this right here is what you can expect from most of Teleco Village. So I really wanted to spend some time and show you what you're gonna expect if you come to take a look, if you decide you wanna buy here, there's a good chance that you're gonna be in a community that's very similar to what we've been in right here. Let's go take a look at that maintenance-free one right now. So these are the maintenance-free homes and the HOA fee plus the POA fee total in here is gonna be about 308 a month. And so, you know, 168 compared to 308, uh, you get all the, the landscaping and the lawn maintenance and all these homes are in the 500s and you know around 500,000 up to around 600,000 and most of them are around three bedroom 2,000 a little over 2,000 square feet they're all built by Cook Brothers and again they're maintenance free so you get that lawn care with them but you know if this is uh, a community that you um, might be interested in. There are actually a bunch for sale in here right now. And so, you know, this is one of the only, it's actually the only place to get a new construction home that's maintenance free in Teleco Village. And so for maintenance free, you have the townhomes, which are all older, or you have this. And so if you want maintenance free and you want a standalone home, this is the only place to get it. And so, you know, again, if you are interested in one of these, um, reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer your questions and help you uh, get in the right one for you. But I'm gonna take you over to the lake just to show that to you for just a second, just so you can um, see it real quick. But if you wanna see more about Teleco Village, check out my other videos that I have on Teleco Village. You can see them in the description below. There's links to those. But you know, if you wanna see some of the golf courses and other things like that, some of the amenities, check those out, but let me take you over to the lake real quick. So this is Teleco Lake out here. And you know, I used to love spending time on the lake as a kid. My grandparents live uh, in Teleco Village. And so that was one of my favorite things, spending time out on the boat, out on the lake, just playing in the water. And you know, another thing is if you are a golfer, right now it's February 28th and it's 75 degrees in Teleco Village. I was out here in December, I did a video and it was, in the 50s and so you can play golf all year round you know it's it's not common that it's 75 degrees in february but it's pretty common that it's in the 50s 
in the 60s and sometimes it's in the 70s and so you can get out and play golf any time of year and so if you're a golfer this is a great community to be in um check out my videos that are in the description below if you're interested in that I, i'll show you around some of the golf courses and in some of the amenities in teleco village so check out those videos that are linked below if you're thinking about buying a home in teleco village you know my name is forrest mccullough i'm a local real estate agent here feel free to shoot me a text give me a call send me an email and i'd be happy to answer your questions and get to know your unique situation and just help you find the right community whether it's teleco village or maybe another community in another part of tennessee i love to help you out with that and walk alongside you and happy to help you make that move to tennessee but other than that i will see you on the next video